five things you didn't know were plastic. Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel where I aim to bring you videos on sustainability, minimalism, self-care and self-development. like it's counterintuitive to run out and get rid of all the plastic items in your household and replacing it with new items so instead reuse what you can however there are health implications that come with using plastic items so i just think it's important to know of things that might contain plastic hiding in your home a lot of tea bags are made with plastic especially the glue used to seal the tea bag Researchers at McGill University discovered that after pouring boiling water over several types of tea bags that they released 11 billion microplastic particles and 3 billion nanoplastic particles. So if you're an avid tea drinker, I would highly recommend buying loose leaf tea or if you have tea bags already in your household, cutting the tea bags and boiling the contents without the bag. Studies have shown that people who have held receipts have tested positive for BPA in their urine even up to a week later. Receipts aligned with BPA. The FDA actually recommends that pregnant women not even touch receipts. The average pad contains four plastic bags worth of plastic and tampons contain plastic in them as well. Plastic is a known endocrine disruptor and these products also have synthetic fragrances or might have been bleached or dyed with chemicals that are harmful to our bodies and bodily functions. So use organic products or opt to use reusable products. A well-known company for period underwear is a company called Thinks. I recently posted about this on my Insta and this is founded in New York by twin sisters Mickey and Radha Agarwal. You might not know this, but most disposable coffee cups are lined with plastic, making them unrecyclable and not to mention the health benefits of having a hot beverage in a plastic lined container. Very few locations have the capability of removing the plastic lining from the cup in order to recycle the paper. And it's a very water and energy intensive method. So one of the best things you can do is to bring your own flask or simply asking for a mug when sitting down at the cafe. I feel so guilty using wet wipes because they are not recyclable, they're a single use item and not to mention an unnecessary luxury. Even if they say flushable, you should never, ever flush wet wipes down the toilet as they contain plastic to keep their integrity, which don't allow them to break down and causes huge issues in the sewer system called fat birds. These are five things you may have not known contain plastic. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to check out my full channel for similar videos to this one. Until next time, be the change you want to see.